by defeating ours, Kratos. The once mortal warrior became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, bringing solace from his past with carnage and battle. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred, hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past duties. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. Placing all of his godly power into the weapon rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death, bloodied and beaten. He knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the blade of Olympus. Humiliated before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of heads reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change, so severe, that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that whomsoever could not allow.